Huskies. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh. Lulu, who are you talking to? Oh, no one. Just my Valentine. Your phone is supposed to be in the phone home. I would put it in there, but it looks like there's some horses in there. Horses? Let's go to Rowan with Phone Home in the West, part two. For a stranger. You see, this blood's so wicked in me. Have you ever gotten into a fight with a rattlesnake? Well, he let it get in the first bite. <laughs> you made a mistake, stranger. I'm a stranger. I reckon after a friendly game of cards, we'd be closer than a banker and his rifle. See, I know you real well, Spud. We ain't friends. And if you keep talking like that, I'm gonna have to send you to the born orchard. Hey! Put your IDs on. That's the only thing that'll protect you. I reckon there's snakes and creatures around the Wild West. Oh, sorry. Sorry, partner. I don't know if you're a to take off Adam Sandler. You're just not stick. Like, you don't know who you're missing, stranger. On the contrary, partner, I ain't no stranger. I reckon I've seen that face before. Shut your wobbling jaw. I know what kind of man you are, Spud. Think I'd be frightened, intimidated, but I know what kind of 10 cent man you are. <laughs> What'd I do to you? Was it a gal you fancy? Your brother? Your mother? Or your father? Ah, uh, your father. How about we stop yarning the hours away and get to the dance? Who oh, wait! Oh, you got them all sour. What'd you do to him, Spuddy, my buddy? Shut your bazoo! I know I've seen that face before, frightened, watching your daddy. When I was a wee boy, I watched you take my pa's ID off him. Watch as he got stopped in the halls. You knew we didn't have the coin. Your father was a debt to me. You and I have no quarrel. His debt was settled when he was buried under the snakes and worms. Then let's settle your debt. Ah, and a snake in my boot. No! Spud! No! Oh, we gotta get you to a doctor, quick! Howard! I don't believe in doctors. <laughs> no! No! Oh, wow. well, that cowboy didn't believe in wearing his ID. That's dead man walking. Hey, Sada, did you know an estimated 145 million Valentine's Day cards are exchanged every year? That's just from Hallmark. Did you know that 250 million roses are grown each year just for Valentine's Day? That's cool. But what I really want to know is what's going on with the Huskies for Valentine's Day. Do you mean Isla with Keeping Up with the Huskies? I'm going down to South Park, gonna have myself a time. Friendly faces everywhere, humble folks without temptation. Welcome back to Keeping Up with the Huskies, Valentine's Edition. <laughs> what are you most excited for for Valentine's Day? I'm actually asking somebody out. Who? I can't say. Oh, what are you getting them? Flower made out of Legos, little chocolates. I hope it goes well. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have you seen Attack on Titan? I don't know what I was trying to say. No? <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Who's your miraculous ship? The blonde dude in the cat noir. Flat-haired <laughs> girl. Is your biggest fear being alone? It's actually spiders, <laughs> so. What are you doing for Valentine's Day? During the day, I'm doing vocal Valentines. Can you deliver one of me? I want people to know that I'm... Loved. No, obsession. <laughs> so you're the student, you're the student, you're the class president, right? Yeah. What are you doing for Valentine's Day? Hang out with my friends, Isabel and Tori. Hey, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Isla. Hey, Lulu, have you been to any games this year? No, but I know OP has some really cool senior nights planned. That's right, January 30th, Monday, I went to the girls' basketball game for their senior night. Let's check it out. Last Monday, January 30th, our varsity girls' basketball team celebrated their senior night with a win. 
their last home game of the season, they played against Riverside Brookfield, winning 46 to 44. They had lots of support and spirit from parents and students. They played a great game. Congratulations Huskies, especially our seniors. Y'all did your stuff. January 22nd was Lunar New Year. Did you know the most common way to say Happy New Year is Shen Yan Kwai Le? This year is the year of the rabbit. I was born near the rooster. Me too. Let's learn more about Lunar New Year. Sunday, January 22nd was Lunar New Year's, and to celebrate that, PALS, Pan Asian Leadership Society, Chinese Club, and the Chinese Program collaborated to have a Lunar New Year's Festival on Friday, January 27th. The event was a huge success, as everyone got to experience a variety of celebrations, including Bo Kua, a Vietnamese gambling game. They also got to experience a calligraphy table, a game with chopsticks and rice, hacky sack, and tinikling, a traditional Filipino dance. Interacting with any of the tables around the festival gave people the chance to earn tickets, which they could exchange for a hong bao, a red envelope with candy in it, though traditionally, it's money. There was also a t-shirt sale, celebrating the year of the rabbit. The exclamation point on a great festival was a lion dance, an important tradition for many Lunar New Year celebrations. All in all, it was a great event. Thank you to everyone who came to celebrate with us. Sada, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? Well, I baked some cookies with my Valentine, and I made some cards. I even have a little gift for you. That's crazy because I have a gift for you. So do I. What are your plans for Valentine's Day, Lulu? I'm planning on writing a romantic sonnet for my special someone. Yeah. Let's check out what the other Huskies are doing for Valentine's Day in this week's edition of 10 for 30. Hey Huskies, welcome to another edition of 10 for 30. We're going to be coming to you in the hallway. Do you want to give a shout out to any staff members? Shout out Miss B. Do, do you have any Valentine's Day plans? Uh, when's Valentine's Day again? March 3rd. Do you have any Valentine's Day plans? No. Do you believe in love at first sight? Yes. Oh. Any Valentine's Day plans? Um, a Valentine's Day party? Do you believe in a thing called love? Yes. Oh. Sometimes I interview people and they don't remember me. Ooh. What, do you have any Valentine's Day plans? Yeah, me and my friends are having a Valentine's party. I feel that I'm just a little speck of dust. Happy Valentine's Day, Huskies!